morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog here in Singapore. So today is I think day 4 here and this morning we have come down to the Bugis Junction and Bugis Shopping Area to have a look. It's actually pretty close to our hotel so that was super convenient and the weather's actually pretty good today as well. So yeah we're just going to have a look and again this place is massive. I think we're going to spend all morning here probably. We finally found our first supermarket here in Singapore. For some reason, we just haven't come across any. So now we found one, and we're just probably going to get some groceries like snacks and yeah, maybe some fruit things like that. I also noticed that they have a lot of durian type snacks here in Singapore. So they have freeze dried durian dark chocolate. They have. So many different flavors of this durian snacks, which I'm not sure if I'll try yet, maybe I will. Got myself a packet of these Naked Berry Delight bars. I'm super excited, they're raw as well, and as you guys know, I love them, so I can't wait to try these. So we just came into this food court nearby the Buddha Street shopping area and we got these vegan bento boxes so it looks really really good I got some tofu, some rice, some mixed veggies and I also got these vegetable sushi rolls from another shop nearby and they're looking really really good as well so this is our lunch and we're gonna enjoy now and we're still walking around in Suntec City because that's how big it is and Port just went into a Japanese shop but I'm not allowed to film it there but um, I actually just wanted to say that before I came I was reading up on Singapore websites and things like that about tips when you come to Singapore and a lot of people were saying that when you come to shopping centers you need to bring a jacket because sometimes they switch the aircon to full blast and they were right because right now I am so cold my hairs are standing up literally right now but that's okay though because I'd rather be a bit chilly than really humid outside night market now and this place is once again so big there are so many different stalls to look at so I think that if you want to do some cheap shopping here in Singapore definitely come to Booger Street night market because from what I'm seeing the prices are pretty good and you can get pretty trendy clothes as well so I think we're going to spend a bit of time here it's already about 8 p.m. so yeah quite late but we're enjoying the nightlife once again it's pretty cool here
We are in Raffle City now and I just met some of you guys and you even got me some gifts so thank you so much. It was so nice to meet some of you. It was just so incredible and actually before I was feeling a bit tired but now after meeting you guys I'm feeling so happy and so energized now so again thank you so much it was really really lovely to meet you and I hope that in the future I can meet more of you guys you guys are just the sweetest So I've just come back to the hotel now for a quick rest before we go out for dinner again and yeah for some reason I've just been feeling quite tired the whole day. I think it's because of all the walking we've been doing these past few days. It really has been quite a lot and I checked on my phone and on average we're doing about 20,000 steps a day which is a lot compared to usually when I'm at home so yeah it feels really good to just rest my legs for the moment and that way I just feel better after rest as well. Um, but yeah, I also just wanted to say thank you so much to you guys who came out to meet me today. It really means a lot to me. The fact that you guys took time out of your day to come and see me and say hi really means a lot and it made me really, really happy as well. So thank you again and even for your gifts, you really didn't have to. So thank you again and everyone, if you are watching this right now, you guys know that I always say you are the best and I truly mean it. You guys are the best and the sweetest and I love you all so, so much. I just really want to meet more of you guys now so hopefully in the future i can meet more of you guys and give you all hugs and chat all day that would be so cool so yeah i also just wanted to add that as you have seen so far in this vlog we've been to a lot of shopping malls recently these past few days and i just wanted to add a little reflection because if you had been following me on my journey in korea in june last year and to taiwan as well you probably would have noticed that i did get quite a few things for myself especially clothes and things like that um but this time around it's different because now I'm just coming to shopping centers genuinely just to experience it and have a look around and in general I'm going on this trip to experience more culture to see more things and it's just really cool to notice how much I've changed within these past few months because in the past when I went to Korea and Taiwan I was just buying things for myself but this time it really is just not for buying more for experiencing and if you've been following me you probably Probably know that I'm on this journey to a bit more of a minimalistic lifestyle and focusing more on life experiences rather than materialistic things so yeah it's just really interesting to notice and apart from buying myself two items of clothing last night at Booker Street Market and something for my sister I really haven't gotten anything else for myself of course apart from food as well so yeah just a little thought there <laughs> it's actually raining quite heavily outside right now as well and I just hope my friend is okay because she really Really wanted to go somewhere but I was feeling quite tired as I said so yeah she wanted to check that out and it's raining so I hope she makes it back okay. So we have just come to a nearby food court now called Food and Public for dinner and I was craving some rice so I decided to get some bibimbap, some Korean mixed rice. So I just got some rice and some veggies and she was really really nice as well because I spoke Chinese so she added in some extra veggies which is really nice of her so yeah this is really really delicious and we're gonna enjoy it and probably get dessert later on which I'm super excited for. I haven't had Korean food in so long so this is so good, I love it. A bit spicy but still really good. And I love this seaweed as well and actually she also gave me a bowl of seaweed soup which I heard in Korea you drink this on your birthday and this is my first time having seaweed soup so I really really like it. So we just got our dessert, we got some tapioca cakes, so these are Thai cakes, they're just tapioca with some coconut sauce on it and it looks super super delicious, I don't know if you can see, I can't tilt it anymore or else the coconut milk is full but it looks really good, I've never had it before and it seems pretty interesting so I'm pretty excited. It's a bit like sweet potato and it's a bit sweet as well and it's just really really nice. 
with the coconut milk on it. It's just so good. I love this. This is amazing. our very last full day here in Singapore so this morning we have come down to little India to have a look around and explore and just experience the culture and so far I'm finding it pretty fascinating and just really cool so yeah we're gonna walk around and then have a lunch here later on as well So we have just come down to a restaurant called Genesis Vegan Restaurant now for lunch and I just got this for this really steaming hot pot of bibimbap just the same as last night because I'm really craving it and I also got a side of kimchi as well which I'm really excited about and this looks super super delicious we're actually having a really early lunch it's only about 11.30 but we're gonna go over to another place later on so we decided on an early lunch I also have some sort of sauce here I'm not too sure what it is Hmm. I don't know what this is, but it tastes good. It's a bit spicy. Not too spicy. It's better than yesterday. <laughs> this is really, really good. As always, as I always say with everything I eat, but this really is really good. And I especially love this sauce. So Courtney there got the Japanese rice, which is always finished. And this is the bibimbap. Yum, yum, yum. I'm here now at the Hall Pa Villa and this is a free amusement park that is focused on Chinese mythical stories so I find that really really interesting so I've come and I'm just having a look around exploring and it's just really really cool because there are a lot of different statues based around the stories that I used to watch in cartoons and things like that as a child so yeah I'm really loving it and I'm gonna spend the afternoon here and it probably will be my last stop here in Singapore because later on this evening we're gonna have an early dinner and then rest early because tomorrow we have a really early start we have to go to the airport early because our flight is early to Hong Kong but I'm just really super excited about Hong Kong as well so yeah this is probably my last stop but I'm going to make the most of it and I just love how this place is designed it is so cool so different and it's just something I've never experienced before and you can like walk under these things they designed yeah if you come to Singapore I definitely recommend this place in the hotel now and I think I'm going to wrap up the Singapore vlogs here guys because tonight we're just gonna have dinner and get an early rest because as I mentioned tomorrow we have a very early start so we're not gonna be doing much else today so yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in to my Singapore vlogs if you watched all of them and following me on my journey here I had an amazing week here in Singapore I really couldn't have asked for more and it was just such a great experience just to see the culture here what it's like the way of living and yeah it was really really fun I thoroughly enjoyed it so thank you guys for watching if you did and I really hope you enjoyed the vlogs as well as much as I loved creating and editing them for you guys and now I am super super excited to go to Hong Kong now I've never been before and honestly I was a bit more excited for Hong Kong but either way I still of course definitely enjoyed Singapore but I'm super super pumped for Hong Kong so yeah I'll see you guys in Hong Kong which will be the next vlog so hope you stay tuned till then have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world thank you so much again and i'll see you next time bye